Hi ghosties, this is my ghostie. I have a banging headache. Um, uh, sorry if I haven't been recording much at all. I don't know. So, I will possibly be recharging again next week. Um, try and get the panda suit, which is this fine lady over here. Um, I'm not so, like, keen on the others, though. And the rosy lolita that we had in this recharge is what I have gotten yesterday. Um, I didn't record my progress in the hell event or being recharging. It's just terrible. I mean, I've been swearing ever since the rose lolita dropped for me on the first lucky bag. And overall, I think £10 for only 16 necklaces is a bit of a rip-off. I just don't like how you spend at least £10 or $10. It's just, it's, there is no difference to how much it is. But just receiving 16 necklaces... It's just like, uh, okay, that's a waste of my money then. And it turns out that, I don't know, you get like one suit and then after you get like this sign popping up and you have to, you, you have to even pick something like, there was like five or six wishes you had to press forever. I only saw forever and internal and real and then the others is like blank. But I haven't been recording it. I just didn't pay attention. I just tapped um forever. Ever since I got my first lucky bag. Oh my god, I'm so gay. Um Okay. Let's just go in here. These two um not really my thing as we all would know by now um she just reminds me of sweets and carnivals and things like that um which i should literally review them up here sorry if i'm so dried i mean i am not really impressed with this event and why it came so early other than four gods. It just doesn't make sense to me. Okay, where is she and where are they? We have a lot of flower themes and I'm kind of getting sick of them. Okay. Okay, here she is. <sighs> Alright, so this hair looks nice, but I don't like how it's shown. Like, I don't like how the bangs is literally above the eyebrows. I never digged it, even if it was trending. I never see what was so fascinating as to having a fringe that's above your eyebrows. I just thought it looks really weird. I'm never a fan of it, ever. Um, This part here puts me off. I think I want it more relaxed of them just being blown in the wind. And it's just putting me off straight away. Um, the dress looks a bit plain. Um, it really does look plain. Um, I don't, I don't see as, I don't see character in it. She looks very cheap. But then again, she's not cheap as we would see. Um, I'm not a fan of yellow. Never did, never will. Um, brightness. I mean, it's too pastel-y. I'm not judging it too rough. I mean, it's just who I am. Um, okay, I can't really see it, but I do like the color of this nice bright blue. Um, not much complaints, though. That's the thing. Socks. Um, what the hell are these things doing on socks? I mean, I would like them to be just plain cotton white socks that's reaching up the knee without any flipping pink pastel pink pom-poms on them so no thank you shoes um yellow plain whatever i think that's a head ornament um looks okay i guess can't really judge it it's tiny and it's a waste of my money gloves which could be very useful since they're plain white i mean you could use those whatever you want horse no thank you just no. <sighs> I 
Okay, let's see what we have here. Um, looks okay, looks cute. Can't really say negative about it. Pigtails, not really digging it for me again. Um, at least this time the bangs are literally reaching to the eyebrows, not above them. Um, the color looks really nice though. The dress looks really beautiful. I would like to get this at some point. Um, I don't really care about this being pastely blue. At least it's not that bright. So it's like different shades of blue in this one dress. And it has character too. So I'm literally happy that it has some details, character, things I need to see from a designed dress. Um, other than just being like a 2D. Socks, uh, not really my thing, but they're cute. I like these, but I don't know what this fluffy thing on top of the foot is, so eh, it's pulling me off a bit. These are adorable. I would like to get these when I get enough, whatever you call them, badges, whatever. I'm not too sure what you call them. And uh, neck choker, choker, definitely choker. Looks cute, but it has like little meaning to it. Bag, not really my thing. It doesn't suit the whole blueness to the dress. It just it matches the hair, of course. But if I wanted to look blue, then I would like to try and look blue. Raccoon, I mean, what are you? Hungry little panda. That's a pan. Those are pandas. Okay, mm. so I really like pets, but the fact is, why are they clinging onto her foot? <laughs> like, get the woman some space. Gosh, this is why her face is like this. Now, her eyes are no different than the default makeup that we have on Love Nikki. So, she has Nikki written all over her, but in blue, not in pink. So, I'm happy about that one. I mean, I like this suit, to be frank with you people. But this one, yeah, she has pose. She has a freaking horse. Yes, 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 yes. But if I saw this dress on her, if I saw this on her, I'd be like, um, it's missing something. It's definitely missing something. Um, though, the pony's pink. That is yellow. And what's with this little trend that's going on with pink and yellow together? Like, I don't understand why it's like that these days. Pink and yellow are like the horrible matchmaking ever. Um, okay, let's just stop bashing the new flipping suits and let's go to the panda. Hello, my sweet darling. How are you doing today? Okay, so... Why is there a choker attached to the hair? If I wanted to use a hair, I would use it without a necklace attached to it. And I don't know anyone that has a necklace attached to the hair. No one. Absolutely no one. So this might be a two-part video because there's a lot of suits that I need to get out my, out there and blah, blah, blah. I'm super late. I'm sorry. Um, Again, with the fringe kind of like above the eyebrows but not too much so that's kind of okay i like that one um she's adorable i like a little panda choker too but i don't like the fact that it's attached to the hair coat's very simple very i don't know looks very cozy but i don't like how this material here looks waterproof and i'm not into that fabric or whatever um I'm into cotton, like cotton jackets and things like that. This fabric with the whole cotton to it, it doesn't look fine to me. Sorry. Uh, this is my favorite item. Like, I love how it's just a corset here and then attached some sleeves reaching down the arms. I love when I wear something big that covers to my hands. Um, I just don't like tightness. I like to be loose um, with the clothes I chose. Like I wear um, sometimes a fest top underneath uh, a hoodie, um, which the hoodie is too big, but I like it because it covers my whole, well, not my whole body, but it covers my torso, my my hands, um, almost down to my butt because I, I think I remember in college where some guy was checking out my bloody butt. 
and I was like, no, okay, I felt super uncomfortable, so I ended up, like, picking my outfit and be like, I want a long jumper, make sure it's very cosy, warm, that I could wear every day, I got one, and I'm happy, um, so this is, like, literally partially me, but I don't like how it's showing the shoulders to the chest, I mean, it, it shows a lot of boob up here, um, but this is not me though, this is the outfit that I actually would love to see in reality. Um, I love the detail to the arms, um, to the chest over here. It shows more skin, if you would agree, I'm not too sure, but this skirt is high waist, so it's showing, this top shows a lot more skin other than the arms, which is good. I mean, wearing this jacket and this top, I could see it fit together. Um, this skirt though is really beautiful, but if it's to this, you know, top and jacket, I would pick something else like, you know, trouser based. Um, so, I mean, I love this skirt. I love the details. I love the jewels. I love the ruffles. I love the belts, the jewel, well, did they say jewels? The patterns, the details, everything. This has character and it shows and screams punk. And I'm digging the whole punk. I mean, <laughs> I could use this on some great ass um, B signs I could ever think of. Um, this top could be used a lot too with this skirt besides this jacket. If I wanted to use these two together, I would literally do that and then put it, put it with different jackets and things like that. Stockings. <sighs> Oh crap. Um I like the stripiness. I would like to use this with the shorts. I mean black or white shorts would do. Um I would use these um with different like colour hair, like proper bright neon hair. Um so it would be very suitable to actually create a punk or a Harajuku style by using these. Um shoes. Heavy freaking boots, man. Those are heavy covered in chains straps and levers yes i mean they look heavy as hell they look like they're hard and heavy footed to walk in but you know what i like heavy footed shoes i always every time i see a goth and they always wear things like this out i like to look at them like inspirational wise not something weird like you know you're in a different world i look at them and i'd be like i wish to be you to have that confidence to wear something that you're wearing you know they have that brave confidence in themselves just to express their fashion and I, i'm digging it panda looks really cute and a, a, is it sleeping on her head oh my god that's so cute it's sleeping on her head glasses can't really say much about them i'm not digging them necklace uh necklace i mean earrings uh, I don't know. Looks a bit pl basic and plain. I'd rather use Mrs. Bones um earrings, the night version, on this outfit. We already went that bracelet. I love the leather bracelets, the tightness, the loose ones. I mean, <laughs> don't get me wrong. Uh, lollipop. It's just a lollipop. Can is just a can. Panda with a baseball bat ready to kick your ass. Then yes, tie me up. This makeup reminds me of Mechanical Hearts makeup. Like, you could tell the same shading, how the pupils look really, really out there. Um, she doesn't look lifeless. There's life in those eyes, but at the same time, it's on and off. I mean, if you look at that mouth of hers, then it's lifeless. But if you don't, then this cat, this life. And I'm like, okay, I don't know. This is weird. I've never seen makeup like that before. And I would like to even use it just to make it on and off. Um, oh my gosh, that's all I have. Um, part two will be coming around tomorrow about these suits. I don't know if this could be part four, part, part three or four or five. Um, but yeah, have a nice life.